Well, we, we met, uh, I, I was exercising in a gym in a very beautiful hotel in Venice. And all of a sudden, here's Michael Bublé, and it knocked me out, you know, to, to actually meet him there so far away from the United States and Canada. I really admired when he was, he was brand new at that time, and I, I really liked what he was doing compared to a lot of the other contemporary acts. My first reaction to Michael is <clears throat> what I like about him is he knows how, he, he has a great sense of knowing how to perform. And he's, he's very quick at uh, adopting, uh, being influenced by Dean Martin, Louis Prima, Frank Sinatra, Nat Cole. He likes, he, like, he, he can hear all this, you know, musically. Unlike many of the other contemporary acts that are trying to say that's old music, he didn't, he, he respected the great performers. And I, I, I immediately liked him. I said, this guy's doing the right thing. And uh, we, we, we hit off a good friendship. So the best piece of advice he gave me is he would come, he'd come down to the, I think it was the Blue Note to see me. And, uh, and uh, I had, that night I had done a few of his songs. I'd done some Dean Martin stuff, some Sinatra stuff. And I remember you looked at me and you said, listen, kid, you said, it's okay, you said, to, to, to borrow from everyone. He said, because when you said, because when you borrow from everyone, yeah, or you said, it's okay to steal from everyone, because when you steal from everyone, uh, you said, you can call it research. Yeah, right. <laughs> I remember, you said, if you steal from one, you're just a ripoff artist, but if you take from everybody, that's it's right. research. That's right. Well, and you're, I you're very, no, and I, I was very impressed with the fact that you understand that, and uh, you see, by doing that, you just become yourself. Yeah. And, but you're learning the real tradition of, how to perform properly. Yeah. The album that Michael did with me, the first one, <coughs> ended up going uh, uh, three million albums, and you know, and, and also uh, we did a television show when it came out, and we won in one night. We won seven Emmys. Yeah, Rob Marshall directed it. Yeah. Rob Marshall, yeah. Is there anybody else back from the first one? No, you're the only one. I mean, one. and when I oh, told Katie Lang. Katie Lang, yeah. Katie Lang, I, I You've love. worked with Katie, yeah, she's a good girl. I love good her, Canadian yeah. girl. When I, when I was talking to you just now, I said to him, you know, who else is on the record? When you hear the other names that are on the record, it's pretty remarkable, but it's a testament to the respect that, that we have for this man, because... Thank you. Because everyone, I mean, and I'm talking about different genres. I mean, you couldn't have more different people showing <laughs> up. Uh, everybody, to, I mean, yesterday you had Josh Groban, uh, the, the, the day before John Mayer, uh, we got, they got Lady Gaga, Amy Winehouse, uh, Bocelli. Uh, Bocelli. I mean, yeah. geez, these are, you know, you're talking about some adult contemporary acts, you're talking about some real pop acts, but it, the same thing, the correlation between all of us is that, you know, we idolize him, that he's an icon, and that he's still doing what he does better than anybody else. Well, you know, Sinatra gave me a great lesson years ago when I was a young boy, and he said, keep your energy all the time. And that's what Michael's got. He's got fantastic energy and a good sense of knowing what to do when he's performing. Yeah. And, uh, Thank you. you know, really, he's, he's going to be around as long as, it, 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 you know, God willing that he just stays well and happy and, uh, because he's, he's got a great career. And he died. He's, he'll be going for years and years and Thank you. he'll love it. Don't jinx me. Don't jinx me. I'm not. My it's heart the other is... Way. No, no. <laughs>